I watched two hours of TBN last night. The sad thing, however, well, I was sad, was that I watched Kenneth Copeland. You know, I talk a lot about Kenneth Copeland, mm -hmm. uh, and I talk about uh, the uh, uh, Howdy Doody. Um, Kenneth Copeland has Alzheimer's um, in the beginning stages of it. And I'll show you this clip where after he does his preaching, and for an old, it was an old message taught there at his church, the believer's voice of victory. Then he sat down at the table to talk about Christmas with he and Gloria, his wife, Gloria Copeland. And she knows that he is sick. She knows that he's got a problem. And it's very painful to tell him he's got to give it up, you know, that he can't do it anymore. Uh, and so he's, he's uh, thumbing through the Bible, trying to remember the passages, and we all have trouble with that. But you can see there's something even more overtly wrong with him because he loses his train of thought. Mm -hmm. And she's sitting there. You can see the pain on her face. Her husband doesn't have it anymore. He, not that he had the Holy Ghost or anything, but he does. He's 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 now going through Alzheimer's, the beginning stages of Alzheimer's, and he, and, and you can you can see he put his hand on his chin, something up. You can see it like this, and and she would get ready to do the same thing. And she immediately stopped. You could see her her concern for him was 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 massive uh, last night, and she tried to help him out. Mm -hmm. And even when she began to speak, he was acting like he didn't even know that she was speaking. It was, it, I, I don't know if it must I, have been painful to watch. It was. Yeah. I know Kenneth Copeland. I've watched him for years. Mm -hmm. I've watched that boy for years. And I say, boy, I don't mean to be disrespectful or contemptible. And I don't have a word that the Lord is punishing him. I don't have that. I don't have that at all. That's not what, what I'm here to say. I speak unto thee and I say, thank me and praise me that it is me you can look to and believe. Thank me and praise me that you can follow after and obey. Thank me and praise me that I am the one who will uplift and guide you forth. For I say, if you will be serving in gratitude, then yes, you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given the strength, the truth, the light, and the mercy of who I am. I say this day that I, the living God, do not, absolutely do not intend that you would be devoured nor destroyed. But I say that I intend that you could be uplifted and guided and brought forth by me. And I say, when you look to me as the author, the finisher, the beginning and the end, then you see that I'm able. And I say, you will know me as I am the God of righteousness revealed. Now I say, this day when men will take it upon themselves to think they are all right when they are wrong, no, it is themselves a deceive. I say, you are living in times of gross delusion when men reject my righteousness, they reject my standard and my judgment all to their own destruction. For I say, if men would allow my judgment in their lives, I say that they could be brought forth in righteousness revealed. But I say when they reject the very mercy that I would offer unto them by showing them in this life the error of their way, I say they are rejecting my life. And I say they are choosing instead, instead by continuance in sin the way of their own destruction. Now I say when you see the ones who are literally possessed and hell bound and determined they must have their way, what do you see? I say you see demon possessed crazed fools who will go on and on and on until they are utterly destroyed. And I say that they persist and insist in the way of destruction, yet I say they rejected the way of my righteousness revealed. And I say they have chosen the course that will prove to be damnation of their souls. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be weary, but I call you to be uplifted and ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that you can indeed be brought forth each day by me. That is, given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who gives to you the truth, the light, and the hope provided day by day. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call men to use me and abuse me, then accuse me, but I say they take themselves there. And I say it is because they give way to an evil heart of unbelief and listen to demons rather than me. And I say, when they are choosing the course of unbelief, no, they are choosing their own destruction. And they are choosing that which will take them far from my way. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to destruction, but I say that I call you to life. 
And I say, if it is me that you look to as the one true God who is able, I say that I will give thee the newness of life that can only be found through me. And I say, if you will be accepting of my truth, my light, and my mercy, then yes, you are guided forth by me. For I say that you will accept my dictate, my standard, and my judgment over your life. Now I say this day when I look upon the ones who are claiming they are mine in this wicked generation, how feeble is the claim they lay unto me. And I say it is because they are full of sin and worldliness, they are full of their ungodly ways, yet they want to coast by. But I say they are silly fools who deceive themselves in their folly, and I say they choose the course of damnation of soul. For I say that a man may declare his mind, but if he refuses to walk uprightly, then I say that he will not be found abiding in me. Now I say this day when you look upon the way that I've set before thee the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed, I say be thankful that you can indeed be brought forth by me. That is, renewed in the strength, the mercy, the life, and the hope of who I am. For I say, if you will be accepting of my goodness unto thee, and willing to walk in my way, then yes, you are guided each day. But I say to the ones who have chosen other gods, other lovers, I say that distress and sorrow shall be their cup. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to distress nor sorrow, but I say that I call you to life. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that you are uplifted and guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful each day that through me so are you given the light upon the path, that you can indeed be brought forth in the truth, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. Now I say this day, let it be me that you will continue to look to, let it be me that you will continue to believe. For I say, if you will be accepting of my way, then yes, you are guided each day by me. And I say, you are given the strength to continue, for I, the living God, do provide the same. But I say, for the fools who have chosen the course of their own understanding, esteeming themselves to be gods when they are mere men and women, know they are headed to their own despair. Now I say, there are nations that have abandoned my way, they've went according, they've taken up ways that I never intended. What do they come through at all? I say, they come to their end, they come to their destruction, and of course they lose out with me. And I say, they literally damn themselves by their choices against me, and I say that they will be overwhelmed. That is, they will be oppressed by cruelty, they will be oppressed by mockery and scoffing, because they had to have their way. And I say that that which comes upon them will cause them to see how utterly ridiculous they are. For I say they embrace the very weapons of their own destruction, and think nothing of the same. For I say, while they are living in their own wise conceit that they are near unto being gods, I say the truth of it is they are utter fools. And I say that they will be devoured, destroyed in their folly, because they trusted their own understanding above my way. Now I say, if men would restrict themselves and remain in my way, I say that they would be guided by me. But I say, when men through their pride grow wise in their own conceit, they are guided to the pit of despair. And I say they are taken in a way that will prove to be devastation unto them, because they are trusting in lies. I say this day be thankful that you do not need to look to the arm of flesh, and that you do not need to look to evil men and believe their lies and crafty inventions. But I say that you can look unto me, believe me, and trust me each day. And I say that you can be uplifted in purpose, directed and guided in that which I give. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all truth and light and mercy revealed. Now I say this day, be glad even now that you can continue to trust, to believe, to look to me, and partake of all that I am. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of truth and light, mercy, strength, and hope provided to the ones who believe upon me. But I say to the ones who have chosen their own understanding, chosen the deceit of the same, no, they have chosen lies. And I say they will go in a way that is far from me and likewise be devoured. Now I say this day that I don't live in God, do not call you to be devoured, but I say that I call you to come forth in me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that in me you are guided each day. 
And yes, you are given the truth, the light, the strength, and the hope of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, who provides thee with the abundance of life and truth and mercy revealed. Now I say, this day, be glad to continue trusting, believing, looking unto me, and knowing that I'm able. And I say, be thankful even now that in me you are given the peace always. That is, you are given the truth and the light, the strength and the purpose of who I am. And I say that you are ever guided, directed and corrected by me. For I say that you will not be weary in well-doing if you will continue to trust me, to believe me, and look unto me day by day. And I say when you will be a partaker of all that I offer, then yes, you are strengthened in me. But I say when you look to the vanity of the world, when you think you are a god within yourself, you are headed to destruction. For I say, when a man will choose in opposition to me, will choose to worship self, he is worshiping a fool. I say, this day, when you look upon the pride, the rebellion that has gripped humankind, why is it so? I say, it is because they have allowed themselves to be intoxicated on pride, ever drinking the wine of the same. And I say, they have refused the humility way that I offer, the way wherein my truth and my light, my mercy are revealed. And I say, they have chosen the iniquity of their own understanding, the foolery, the vanity of the same. I say this day that I, the living God, absolutely find no pleasure in the ones who go according, in the ones who deviate, in the ones who pervert the truth. But I say that I find my joy in the ones who will be accepting, ever guided by me. That is, brought forth in the truth, the light, the strength, and the hurt, the mercy of who I am. Ever may glad that it is me they are privileged to serve. For I say, in a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, be thankful, ever thankful unto me. That is, that I am the one who will uplift and guide, direct, and correct you each day. And I say, be thankful that I purpose you in that which I do give, which is newness of life. That you do not need to be bound, bound as a clown, bowing to other gods, other lovers, all to your own damnation. But you can indeed be faithful, ever true unto me, as the living God whose mercies remain. Now I say, if a man is truly thankful unto me, then I say that he will keep in the attitude of gratitude. And I say that he will seek to keep his own heart with diligence, that he does not stray from my way. But I say, when a man grows fatted and full and comfortable in this life, I say he will play the whore on me. And I say that he will play with those things forbidden all to his own damnation. I say you are living in times when I, the living God, am bringing down the proud, the haughty, the high-minded fools who thought they remained forever in their vain conceit. And I say that I'm revealing them to be what they are, mere men and women who are headed to despair. For I say when men and women are choosing a way of their own understanding, they are choosing lies. And I say they are choosing to be utterly destroyed because their hearts are so far from me. I say this day, why would you choose your own destruction, your own damnation, when you could indeed be choosing my life? That is, to be brought forth and uplifted, directed and guided by me. And I say, when you could be partaking of all that I give thee time and again. For I say, it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth, the light and the mercy revealed. And it is me, the living God, who will cause you to be ever guided, directed, and corrected in my way. Now I say this day, when you see the foolish, the double-minded, the ones who love and make a lie, where do they end? I say, for all of their so-called intelligence or their crafty wisdom, they end in a pit. For I say, when men will not remain ever faithful and true unto me, then I say, they are not worthy of me. And I say, for all of their keeping of their own lives, I say they are nothing but empty-headed fools. I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to be an empty-headed fool, but I say that I call you to come forth ever guided by me. And I say that I call you to be thankful that each and every day you are uplifted and brought forth by me, and given the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope of who I am and brought forth, ever guided, directed, and corrected by me. 
I say this day, be thankful that I am ever present, that I am truth and light, and you do not need to be found under wrath revealed. For I say, in a time when I'm bringing down the proud, the rebellious, the defiant, there are many who will live out their days in wrath. But I say, for the ones who obey, they will know the goodness of my way. I say, give thanks But I do know praise. that he has it. Um, and it won't be long now. Um, I, and I know this, this entire Word of Faith group. Uh, you know who they are. They, uh, they, this Word of Faith, 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 all we go back to uh, Kenneth Hagin. Uh, that they have been so detrimental to the church and destructive to the church. So I, uh, I, 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 Kenneth, Kenneth Copeland has Alzheimer's, everybody. So 